The show starts with a young man heading off to his school. His mom notices that he hasn't combed his hair once again, though he quickly realizes his mistake and corrects it. As he is leaving his home, his parents make sure to tell him to be careful. On his way, Yu isn't a very lucky guy and often ends up in weird situations. An old lady he helps cross the road notices that he is a mess and tells him to take care of his hair properly. A young girl, pretty as a mermaid, Shikamori is awaiting him at the stop, and every passerby is envious of her beauty. After Yu greets her, the couple starts heading to school together, and he apologizes for being late. Shikamori assures him that she loves waiting for him as she enjoys the time more this way, and he isn't very happy that his girlfriend keeps doing this for him every day. Accidentally, he says it out loud, and thus he hears a lecture from her mouth. Suddenly, a speedy van passes by the two, and Shikamori, knowing his sweet luck, quickly protects him. He is impressed that his girlfriend managed to notice the vehicle before he had even seen it, and the other tells him that he shouldn't be this careless as it may cause him grave danger. As they reach the school, they pass by the cherry blossoms and recall how the trees were blooming in their first year here as well. The two find heaps of students before the notice board. They are assigned to their new classes today and Izumi starts praying to be in the same class as Shikamori. Seeing this, Shikamori starts blushing and assures him that even if they are separated, she will come to visit him often, and he realizes that he couldn't have asked for a better girlfriend than her. They are both nervous about finding where they will end up, but all their worries are for naught when they find they are in the same class just as last year. Izumi is joyfully over the moon as his wish is granted, and they are quickly followed by their friends. Shikamori's friends are glad that they will be studying together while Izumi watches them and realizes that he is completely ignored. He decides to walk off with his friend, and Uzuku turns around to inform Shikamori that they will be going together after school. Shikamori, who was holding her excitement on, couldn't wait much longer and found herself in an embarrassed position before her boyfriend. During the class, the introduction starts with Izumi, and he once again makes a mistake in pronouncing his name. Though it is natural for him as he has a hard time with certain words. After their class, an eraser suddenly spawns and is hurled at Izumi, though his girlfriend makes sure to protect him. After he compliments her, she is too embarrassed to look at him straight on and excuses herself. The guys approach Izumi and tell them how envious they are of him having a girlfriend as cute as Shikamori. She is about to enter the class when she hears their weird comments and instructs Izumi to follow her to the library. The guys are worried whether she hurt us, and she instantly reveals that their days are numbered. She is worried that their words might have invaded Izumi's mind and tries encouraging him. Though the other is dumbfounded and she realizes that her worries were for naught. Afterward, Izumi is sitting in his class with nothing to do and Inuzuku approaches him to plan an outing. Izumi agrees with him, and the two stumble upon Shikamori and her friends who are also planning on going outside. The five of them decide to hang out together and head to a club to play ball. As they are getting ready, Nekozaki informs Shikamori that it is her chance to steal her boss's attention and instructs her to play intentionally bad as it defines cuteness for a girl. They all try to score decent results. Unfortunately, Izumi's luck is the same as ever, and he is left wondering whether he might be throwing it the wrong way. When it's Shikamori's turn, Nekozaki notifies her once more about their chat, and as she is planning on missing, Izumi encourages her from behind. Now she does not need to make herself appear weak in this competition, and gets a flawless result each time. She becomes the center of attention. Now her friends have no choice but to bow before her might as she celebrates her victory with Izumi. After they are done enjoying their outing, they decide to split up and Hashimitsu comments on how she chose coolness over cuteness. Izumi and Shikamori are walking together when Izumi recalls the promise and tells her about the treatment he had promised. The other doesn't want anything more from him except to walk her home. On their way, Shikamori asks whether he felt hurt by his classmates' words, and Izumi responds that there wasn't a lie in their words as he is always counted on hurt due to his pathetic luck. Shikamori assures him that protecting him isn't a problem as she enjoys being together with him. As she saves him one more time, he unintentionally reveals how much he loves this side of her, and her boldness transforms into blushing. The following day, they have a sports day ahead, and Shikamori approaches Izumi to inform him about their basketball. Though he is selected for the soccer team, they promise each other to cheer for one another. Izunuku notices her hair and comments that she will have a bit of a hard time running with it, and Nico informs him that they only did it because it makes them feel connected. Hachimitsu isn't happy with her style while the two check out the timing for their matches. They are both disappointed to find that their respective matches almost start at the same time, and Shikamori feels down that she wouldn't be there for her boyfriend. Though Izumi tells her that even if she can't be there, he will cheer her on from his ground and she gets flustered. Since her boyfriend was this enthusiastic about his match, she decided to check up on him as there were still a few minutes left in their match. As the game starts, bad luck also starts following him, and she has to tell him to watch out. Unfortunately, Izumi is hit with the ball, resulting in him being sent out to the infirmary and Shikamori takes off some time to visit him. 
She finds a scar on his forehead, and Azumi reveals that it is from an incident from a long time ago. Seeing as he has the most terrible luck in the universe, she isn't a bit surprised, and she assures him that wherever they go, she will always protect him. Izumi feels useless hearing this, and tells her that there can still be situations where he can protect her. Shikamori teases him, stating that she would hide under his blanket along with him, making him all flustered before heading off to her basketball game. At the basketball club, Miko is awaiting her when the rival ace, Kamiya, greets her. Everybody is here to watch her, and the game starts as Shikamori arrives just on time. Izumi gets back into the game, and they fail to win it. He and his friend decided to spectate the girls' game and head to the club. Satake Mitsu isn't too strong physically, they have instructed her to cheer them on, but even then, she proves a bit useless. Shikamori's team is falling off in the match as the opposing ace, Kamiya, is too strong. But Izumi's girl impresses the audience with her performance. She gets some encouragement from her boyfriend, and that is enough for them to get back into the game. After they manage to win the game, Izumi approaches her right in the middle of the court and she gets flustered at this. In their class, as they are chatting, they are followed by countless students who seem to have found the celebrity in Shikamori. All the girls are surprised to find her in a relationship, and some even show a sprinkle of jealousy toward Izumi as well. Days pass, and Shikamori's fame has only grown. Izumi is jealous that she gets to spend so much time with her fans instead of him. Seeing this, Inuzuku tells him how he has been acting like an obsessive fan, and suddenly, he sees a ball coming toward him. Inuzuku injures himself for his sake, and as he is tending to him, Shikamori gets jealous. She is enraged that he is spending time with him rather than coming here to greet her. Afterward, Inuzuku saves him from various calamities, and he decides to head outside to wait for Shikamori, who is busy with her fans. He is about to fall off the stairs when she saves him and lectures him on leaving home without her. He assures her that he was planning on waiting outside, and she apologizes for the confusion. Inuzuku hands Izumi a couple of movie tickets and tells him to take someone else with him since he has other stuff to do. Shikamori gets jealous seeing them being this close, but when Izumi invites her to the movie, all her worries disappear, and she immediately accepts his request. At night, Izumi decides to prepare as best to his fullest, since he believes another misfortune will soon hit him. On the other hand, Shikamori has a hard time deciding what to wear since this is the first time she is going out with someone. As she is making too much noise, her brother checks up on her, and he is amazed to see his sister being grown up to go out with someone. The following day, Izumi gets a little late and hurries to the spot. Shikamori has already arrived, awaiting him, and the two head to the cinema. They cannot decide what to watch since both of them are unfamiliar with each other's tastes in movies. After Izumi insists that she pick up one, Shikamori decides to go with a horror one and Izumi begins contemplating that maybe it was a bad choice letting her pick it. During the movies, he is immensely scared and almost pukes, but having Shikamori on his side makes him feel encouraged to continue. After the movie, she apologizes to him, and he decides to treat her to something special. However, his luck is hit once again as his wallet is lost and now they have to return without eating any of their desirable stuff. On their way, they stumble upon Izumi's parents, and they invite Shikamori to their house. Shikamori saves Izumi on the table with a fork, and his parents are amazed at her reflexes. After they are done eating, Shikamori gives Izumi's mom a hand in washing dishes, where she informs her how her son used to get beaten up or met with an accident when he was a little. She feels that Shikamori will soon lose patience with her son due to his bad luck, but the other assures her that despite being unfortunate, Izumi chooses to be kind to others, making him stand above the rest. Seeing this, his mother gets jealous of her son, and starts to wish Shikamori was her girlfriend instead. Izumi wakes up to find her playing with his father, and he is surprised at her energy. As the night approaches, she gets ready to leave, and Izumi's mother, seeing him walking her home, is immensely proud of her son's growth. Summer break is around the corner, and the squad decides to plan a beach visit. Izumi usually doesn't feel very good out in the sun, so they try to change their plans, but he assures them that he will have no problem there. Shikamori is also confident that no harm will follow his way as she will be there to protect him from any danger. They all head to a mall to do some shopping for their trip, and while Shikamori is teasing her boyfriend, she is stunned to find him looking at a bikini ad. Shiki immediately decides to buy herself a nice swimsuit, and her friends are shocked at this. In a flashback, Nikko decided to make friends with her right after her first glance, but didn't approach her as Hakimitsu thought it would be creepy. After playing a basketball match with her, she was even more impressed and invited her to lunch, and that's how they started. Meanwhile, the guys are awaiting their return, and Izumi notices that Shikamori has bought something. However, since she would be too embarrassed at it, she doesn't show the swimsuit to him despite his persistence. After they are done shopping, they head back home, and Izumi gets a call from her at night. She just wanted to hear his voice, and he tells her how much he loves going outside and gazing at the stars. However, his luck never seems to work out in his favor, as it always rains whenever he goes out at night. 
Shikamori promises to take him somewhere beautiful, and in return, Izumi wants to take her to her favorite spot too. As the conversation goes on, Izumi feels even more in love with her and reveals how much he would love to be in her presence often. Shikamori is flustered at this and decides to hang up as she cannot continue talking like this. Summer break is here, and they get ready to take off to the river. Nico is in a hurry as she is too impatient for their BDQ party and tells him to hurry up. Upon reaching, they immediately set the camp and started cooking. As Izumi doesn't have anything else to do, he starts cutting veggies, and they all want him to stop because a misfortune may follow him. However, much to their amazement, Izumi is pretty good at cooking. And Shikamori is even more impressed at learning that he loves helping his mom in the kitchen. After they are done, Shikamori presents him with a dish she created just for him, and as he takes the first bite, he is almost on the verge of puking. Shikamori feels down for not being a decent cook, and despite the bad cooking, Izumi eats all of it as she creates it with love. For the dessert, Izumi prepared something even more amazing, and Shikamori teased that she could eat his cooking every day for the rest of her life. They all prepare to swim, and Shikamori wants to spend some time alone with Izumi so he can notice her swimsuit. However, they are interrupted when Shikamori goes over to her friend's side to check on something while Izumi helps a little girl. He nearly drowned, but thanks to Shikamori, he was saved. After a while of enjoying swimming together with her, he finally notices her swimsuit and compliments her. Before they return, Shikamori and Izumi have a fun time sharing their ice cream, but they are interrupted by Inuzuku. On their way back, Izumi is thankful to have spent the whole day with his friends while all of them are asleep. Shikamori wakes up to find him leaning on Inuzuku's shoulder and slowly pulls him toward herself. Izumi has been bedridden ever since they came back from their trip, and Shikamori calls him to check up on him. He asks her out for a firework display, and she accepts it. He informs his parents about this, and his mom gives him a yukata to wear. On the other hand, Shikamori wears her grandma's yukata and has her brother help her in wearing it properly. Before Izumi heads out, his father informs him about a certain spot when the fireworks are more clearly visible and enjoyable. As they meet up, Izumi is dazzled by her looks as if Medusa had spawned before his eyes. Izumi has come prepared this time around and is taking every possible precaution into account. Izumi tries to win a plushie, but after he fails, Shikamori takes up the challenge and wins it for him. The two bump into their friends who are also there, and they decide to challenge each other to different games. Shikamori is enraged that Imuzuku beat her boyfriend and tries taking her revenge but fails. Hachimitsu instructs her to spend more time with her boyfriend, and Izumi decides to take her to the secret spot. However, due to her bruised feet, Izumi carries her on his back, and after much struggle, they succeed in climbing the stairway. As they sit on the bench, Shikamori feels bad about being carried by him and tries apologizing, but the other stops her and assures her that he wants to do something nicer for her too. After enjoying the fireworks from a clear way, they head back and Izumi is about to fall off the stairs when his dad saves him. His mom reveals that they get here every year, and the two were sitting behind them. Izumi hoped that they hadn't heard all of their chattings as it would be too embarrassing. Will Izumi ever manage to break the cycle of misfortunes? What do you guys think? Find out in the next video. For more, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel.